Hello Canberra, I'm Georgina Whelan, Commissioner of the ACT Emergency Services Agency. Today, on March 8, we recognise International Women's Day. A day to celebrate the fabulous achievements of women, not only across our agency and the ACT community, but of all women across our wonderful nation and the world. I would like to contribute to shining the light in order to focus on this year's theme, and that is Break the Bias. Diversity, equity, inclusion and belonging can only be achieved when we collectively challenge bias, stereotypes and discrimination. I am honoured to have been inspired, mentored and led by a powerful and diverse group of leaders, binary and non-binary, who have collectively influenced and challenged my own bias when it comes to gender in our workplace and the decisions that I make as a leader. We here in the ESA and across the ACT continue to see women in our community break down the barriers and rise to the occasion time and time again. Unafraid to be loud in the pursuit of fairness, equity and equality for all. It is such a privilege to be able to work alongside so many outstanding women, each of which providing their own individual value and perspective to keeping our community safe. Today is also a day to call for action on women's equality and acknowledge that there is still more that needs to be done. I've asked just a few of our members from across our team of teams what this year's theme, Break the Bias, means to them. There's no doubt that it takes courage to break the bias. Actively calling out gender bias, discrimination, stereotyping in the workplace by leaders is crucial for change. In particular, for International Women's Day, we recognise that women have immense value to offer the workplace, especially at the leadership table. For women to believe they can achieve, they must be able to see themselves present in all roles, especially leadership roles. I'm proud to say that at ESA, we have women embedded in leadership roles throughout the organisation. 40% of ESA executive leadership team is female, but there's always more to be done. So we look forward to achieving gender parity and further diversification of our executive team and the whole agency into the future. Attracting a diverse workforce through recruitment is one of the ways the agency is actively moving towards equality. We already have so many women within the ESA who bring specialised skills and experience to what can be a very complex work environment. The ESA is laying foundations today to achieve meaningful, long-term gender equity across our services. Our female volunteers break gender bias continually through displaying their unique strengths and abilities. We currently have 114 female ACT RFS volunteers and 119 female ACT SES volunteers. This is our highest number of female volunteers and we aim to continue the growth and development of our female members. Having an inclusive workforce helps us to better understand the community and serve them more effectively. On the front line and in leadership roles, diversity of thought enables us to find innovative and unique ways to problem solve complex situations. Diversity to us is not a buzzword. It's critical to the strength of our workforce. It's about more than just a depiction of diversity within the figures. It's about acknowledging and understanding the value community representation brings to our organisation now and into the future. This year's International Women's Day, I'd like to celebrate the unique skills and experiences every individual of the ESA brings to our team of teams. I hope that you will join with us as we continue to think and act upon the ways in which we can help break the bias and accelerate towards gender equality. Thank you, Canberra, and please stay safe.